everyone, welcome back. So today I'm doing an update video on a previous unboxing video I did on this channel. Um, I uploaded a video exactly a month ago. I think it's called unboxing a $50, $65 mystery box or something like that. I'll link the exact video in the cards and in the description down below for you to watch. But um, it was basically a box full of cuttings that I didn't know what was going to be in the box. Um, I unboxed it. Some of them looked good, some of them looked half dead, so I want to do an update on what's still alive, what's rooted, what hasn't rooted, and all that fun things. So I wrote a list on the order in which I unboxed it so that we can go in the same order this time for the update. So the first plant I unboxed was a Monstera Spaparu. So this is it now. This one is one of the ones that looked fantastic when I unboxed it. It was in water um, till about three days ago and it had no roots but for the past three days it's been in sphagnum moss in a ziploc bag on a heat mat. So let I haven't looked at it since so let's see if we have any roots yet. Um, kind of. So there was an aerial root and I think that aerial root is trying to push out a new root. Can you tell? Like right here? I think that aerial root is trying to push out a new root. But basically for the past month, uh, basically no roots yet, but the leaf still looks extremely healthy. There's been no discoloration or anything. Um, and oh, this did get rooting hormone when I first got it, but it was in water, so it probably got washed. I might put some more rooting hormone now that it's in sphagnum moss, but we'll see. Okay, so that's the first update. No roots yet. This is going back in sphagnum on the heat mat though because I feel like that's better than the water. Okay, so the second plant I unboxed was the Raphidophora tetrasperma. So this is it now. So I still have both leaves. Oop. So it was originally in sphagnum moss, but it started rotting a little bit. Um, the Raphidophora is very prone to stem rot. So it got transferred into this Leca jar with some water at the bottom. And this water, I don't remember exactly, but it probably has um, like a drop of Super Thrive in it because that's what I like to do when I'm rooting in Leca. So let's pull this out very gently. Ooh, look at that. So there is one root on here. Look at that. It's getting pretty big. There we go. And the bottom looks okay. Doesn't look like it's rotting. So the thing I am worried about, though, is that the one root that it has is right here. And this node only supports this leaf, um, the node that connects the two leaves together right here. There seems to be no root growth at all, which means it's very likely that I will lose this leaf if no roots come out of there. So that kind of sucks, but I am happy to report that there are one, some roots, one root, and it seems to be doing okay. There's no discoloration of the leaf. It looks basically the same as when I unboxed it. So that's good. I'll put this back in the like later. Okay, next plant is the Monstera adansonii. Okay, so this is one of the plants that did not look good when I unboxed it. It already looked like it was halfway dying. The leaves were extremely damaged um and so i put it into some sphagnum moss it's been in sphagnum moss since i've had it it was in the 
uh, indoor greenhouse um, and for the past three or so days I put it on the heat mat in a Ziploc bag. So what I actually ended up doing though was I ended up cutting so it used to be one like I think it, I think it was like this so it used to be like one cutting and I chopped the two because I thought I had a better chance that way because both leaves looked so rough um, and then I ended up having to do a little bit of cutting on the leaves and it still keeps browning so you know like half of that leaf half of that leaf got like cut off yeah some at the bottom and it's still pretty brown so I think it's likely that I'm going to lose both leaves still and then this is the other one where like more than half the leaf got cut off there we go so we'll see how this ends up doing but uh both cuttings this one shows no signs of root growth at all and this one has a mini little baby root so I'm very happy about that and this popped up within the last three days of it being on the heat mat so I'm very excited and I think that heat mats are a miracle now Okay, second to last plant is the Syngonium erythophyllum. This was rough. Um, when I first opened it, I knew immediately that there was damage. Uh, I think it was cold damage, even though the package was insulated very well. And it wasn't really that cold where I live, but I think it was cold damage, but it looked very, very rough. Um, and it looked even worse, kind of like a few days after when the damage kind of started showing on the leaves. So I'll put some photos here. But basically, it just like did not recover really and there was a point probably like a week or so ago maybe a little bit more than a week where it looked just basically like dead and um the part of the leaf that was damaged from that original shipment started molding and so i was gonna chuck the whole cutting but um, i decided not to i ended up taking very sterile scissors and doing a little bit of surgery on the leaf so this is what the leaf looks like now. There was a second leaf that I ended up throwing away. It was kind of moldy and I decided that I was just going to keep one leaf. There we go. So and this is what the back looks like. And then this has also for the past three days been on a heat mat um, and it's been in sphagnum moss since I got it. So the last I looked there were no roots that is still true so these are aerial roots that it came with so there are no new roots but what has started popping up is it looks like there's a new growth trying to happen where the old growth point was do you see that tip um, so that looks like that's trying to be a new growth point, which is cool because that means it's not completely dead, but I would really like it to grow roots instead of a new leaf or a new stem because it definitely can't sustain itself if there are no roots. So please grow roots, but I am hopeful now that, you know, it's not just like actively dying anymore that maybe this is salvageable okay last plant from that unboxing was a philodendron pedatum and i'm very happy that that's the last plant because that is the plant that has been doing the best so it's been in water this is a philodendron rio ignore that that's not from the box um and there are definitely roots so when i root um in water sometimes i add in a drop of Super Thrive or Newt. This looks like it has a drop of something. I don't remember if it's Super Thrive or Newt, but it has a drop of that. And, okay, let me try to 
very carefully take it out. Okay, this has been doing so, so awesome. So this leaf was already trying to unfurl when I got it. So it finished unfurling. This is what the newest leaf looks like. Um, there are many growth points or many nodes on this cutting and all of them rooted. So there's a root right there. And on this cutting, on this side, there's roots right here, and there's roots down there. So every single node basically reactivated and has a root, and there's a new growth point. So that's trying to be a new leaf right there. So this is doing very, very well. I'm gonna put it back into water until the roots are probably about more than an inch long and then I'll transfer it into soil but this one obviously is the one that's doing the best so I'm very happy about that and also glad that we are ending on a good note so yeah thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give me a like and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon bye